in this video i'm going to explain about huffman coding if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends so here i am explaining this huffman code by considering an example so the example is obtain the huffman code for the word committee so for this word committee i have to generate the huffman code so the total number of symbols in the word committee is 9 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so the total number of symbols in the word committee is 9 so the probability of a symbol is given as total number of occurrence of a symbol by total number of symbols in a message so here the total number of symbols in a message is 9 and now we have to see that the total number of occurrence of a, a symbol here it is given so the probability of C within this committee is given as here 1 by 9 because here the occurrence of this C is only one time that is why it is given as 1 and for the symbol O it is given as 1 by 9 and for the M it is given as 2 by 9 because this M is occurred two times within this word committee and for the symbol i it is given as 1 by 9 and the probability for the symbol t is given as 2 by 9 and the probability of the symbol e is, is given as 2 by 9 so now the first step in this huffman code is arrange the symbols into descending order according to the probability that is according to the probability we have to arrange that these symbols from high probability to low probability there is nothing but in descending order so when you are arranging the symbols in descending order the first symbol is m next t and next e c o and last symbol is i so we are arranged these symbols according to the probability values and which are arranged in descending order now we have to construct the huffman tree so first according to this table we have to arrange this symbols m t e c o i and their probabilities are 2 by 9 2 by 9 2 by 9 and 1 by 9 1 by 9 and 1 by 9 so now we have to consider first the lowest probabilities so this is for o and i symbols for the o it is given as 1 by 9 so for the o it is given as 1 by 9 and for i it is given as 1 by 9 the upper probability we will assign zero value and for the lower probability we will assign one value so when we are adding these two probabilities we will get 2 by 9 so this 2 by 9 is greater than that of the probability of symbol c 1 by 9 so this 2 by 9 will be arranged above this the probability of symbol c so here we will write this 2 by 9 in between e and c so here it will be represented like this that is 2 by 9 and the next step is here again we have to add this 2 by 9 and 1 by 9 we will get that here we have that 3 by 9 which is greater than the top these all the probabilities so which is arranged at the top and for this probabilities for the 2 by 9 we will assign the 0 value and for this 1 by 9 we will assign that 1 value and again and next we will go for this uh, the next probability values that is 2 by 9 and here 2 by 9 we will add these two probability values so that we will get that 4 by 9 which is the highest probability so that which will be arranged above this one so here we will get that 4 by 9 and for this probability value we will assign the 0 value and for this one we will assign that 1 value and next after that one we will again go for the lowest probability values that is 3 by 9 and 2 by 9 by adding these two you will get that 5 by 9 so for this 3 by 9 we will give that 0 value and for 2 by 9 we will give that binary value as 1 with this we will stop this uh, Tree. so for this 4 by 9 we'll assign that one value and for this 5 by 9 we'll assign that zero value so now we will generate the code word for this m t e c o i first we'll generate the code word for m so here you go like this so starting from m so you go like this so here the first one is that uh, one and next here we have 0 so 1 0 so for this 1 0 you take that mirror image so you will get that 0 1 and next for t next for t you go like this 
so here you will get that first one is that zero here we have zero and next it is going on like this four by nine and here we got that one here so here we have the zero for t and here we have one so zero and here one if you take that mirror image you will get that one and zero so actually these are the code words because if you go in reverse direction you may confuse so first we'll go for in a positive direction so that you will understand very easily and next for e you go like this so here it will be encoded one and next you will get that one here so for this e you will get that one one so that you will get the mirror image as one one and next for C here you will go like this so 1 and next here you will get 0 and next here you will go like this 0 so for C you will get that 1 0 0 so that the mirror image you will get that 0 0 1 and next for O here you will go like this 0 0 0 0 so for O you will get that all the values as 0 0 0 0 so the mirror image is also you will get 0 0 0 0 and finally we have I will be there so here I will be you will go like this I 1 0 0 0 so 1 0 0 0 the mirror image you will get that 0 0 0 1 so these are the code words for this symbols M T E C O I so here 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 1 for these symbols M T E C O I and the word length is given as 2 2 2 and here we have 0 0 1 there is nothing but 3 and 4 and here it is 4 1 2 3 4 the word length here it is 4 so like that we got code word and word length and next we have to calculate the average length so the average length formulation is given as L bar equal to sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 pk into lk so here lk is nothing but length of the each symbol that is nothing but here the length the word length is given as 2 2 2 3 4 4 for the corresponding symbols mte co i so there is nothing but the length of the each symbol and l bar is the average length of the each symbol and l bar is nothing but average length of the symbol and pk is the probability of occurrence of a symbol so which is given as l bar equal to so it is a summation from k equal to 0 to n minus 1 so 2 by 9 that is the probability into length lk is given for the symbol m so 2 by 9 into 2 so 2 by 9 into 2 again 2 by 9 into 2 plus 2 by 9 into 2 plus 1 by 9 into 3 so here 1 by 9 into 3 and next uh, 1 by 9 into 4 plus 1 by 9 into 4 so you will get like that do this calculation so that you will get that average length of the symbol as 2.5553 bits per symbol and next we have to calculate the entropy that is the h of s so this h of s is given as minus sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 pk into log 2 p of k so this log 2 p of k can be represented as log base 10 p of k by log base 10 2 so the log base 10 2 value is given as 0 0.3010 so that will be outside of the summation so sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 pk into log base 10 pk so just you substitute this pk value and the probability values in this equation so that you will get that value as entropy h of s equal to 2.5034 bits per symbol so this quantity this quantity you will get negative value so here negative 
into negative you will get that positive so the entropy h of is equal to a positive value of 2.5034 bits per symbol so from this you can calculate the efficiency that equal to h of s by l bar which is given as 2.5034 by 2.5553 so you will get that the efficiency value as 97.97 .97. So thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education